Hello friends, welcome back to the automation revolution. In this video, we are going to learn about Siemens motor management and control device software. So in our previous video uh, for the Simo code kit, we have seen uh, very basic architecture and different component of Simo code kit. What are the functionality uh, for the Simo code kit? And uh, in this video, we will configure the Simo code kit from Simo code ES premium software. So this software is uh, license version uh, you must have to purchase, uh, purchase license uh, for the conf configuration so you can see right now i have simo code es2007 uh, sp4 version installed in my pc and uh, i have uh, license for the software then uh, next we will start from the identification there are two options in identification device and marking so uh, from the device you will get detail uh, like order number short code manufacturer and the device family so right now we have simo uh, pro v uh, short code and uh, we have this order number in the marking you can uh, define some uh, installation date uh, location designation some description about the project so that type of detail, uh, details you can uh, enter from here uh, this marking next is uh, device configuration so in device configuration you can select the unit so what type of unit we have so there are three types of uh, simo code kit are available in market simo code pro c pro v and pro v um, profinet so uh, right now uh, i will select simo code pro v because uh, in actual hardware we have simo code pro v and version uh, we will select 3.1 as per our hardware then current measurement unit so in our simo code kit we have 0 0.3 to 3 ampere uh, capacity and based on the current module you can select this module type range if you have added uh, extra digital module so as per the hardware you can select right now we have mono stable uh, digital module unit operating panel uh, we have connected with the simo code kit so i will enable this option voltage me uh, measurement unit also we have integrated uh, with this current and uh, measuring uh, unit display voltage so uh, you can go for line to line voltage or phase voltage so i will select the phase voltage so in this operating panel it will continuously uh, show the, uh, the phase voltage if you are using extra temperature analog or earth fold uh, module so you can enable that option and as per that you will get in court catalog the facility right side uh, there are different application or control function available uh, for the simo code kit so as per your hardware you can uh, configure this this, uh, this application from the simo code so in our kit we have two contactor uh, so uh, some uh, like reverse, uh, reversing starter and direct starters that type of application we can configure uh, right now and if you have three uh, contactor and uh, required hardware so you can go for star delta and another uh, application uh, for, from the simo code quit so uh, as of now i will select this reverse, uh, reversing uh, starter option and uh, for the demonstration we will see the reversing starter next option is uh, profibus parameter so if you are uh, connecting uh, simo code kit with the plc and uh, you are communicating uh, simo code and plc uh, using this profibus uh, cable so in that case uh, you can uh, use this addressing and uh, simo uh, profibus parameterization so right now we will skip this uh, profibus parameterization and uh, next we will uh, see the motor protection in the motor production we are getting two options overload and uh, thermistor so in overload uh, here we have different option so first we will set the current is so as per your load uh, you can uh, define the current uh, capacity so uh, when you click on this uh, cursor so minimum maximum uh, range by default you will get so uh, right now i will uh, keep 0 0.30 ampere and uh, next we have the class for the motor so there are different class available and you can select as per uh, application what type of response you want at uh, trip level 
so there are four option disable signaling warning and tripping so uh, when uh, this overload, overload will come in that case what type of response you want from the simo code kit so that uh, response you can configure here so right now i will select tripping if you are using warning so it will only just give you message or signaling so we will select tripping cooling down period so when uh, motor will trip and uh, motor will heat it up that time so uh, how much time you want cooling uh, cooling down period uh, so that motor can uh, run uh, efficient, efficiently uh, after the stripping so that time uh, you can uh, define here if you want extra time so you can go for the post time that time you can insert here the type of load uh, it is single phase or three phase that you can select here response at pre warning level so when current will cross uh, 115 percentage for uh, the set current so in that case what type of uh, function you want so i will go for the warning you can uh, select disable or signaling as per your uh, desire pre alarm delay you can uh, give for uh, 0 0.5 second so right now i will keep as it is unbalanced production so when uh, voltage unbalance is there or phase uh, unbalance is there so uh, you can define the level so when it, it will cross 40 percent unbalance in that case what type of response you want so i will go for the ripping and uh, you can also define the delay so when this unbalance level uh, will remain for 0 0.5 second uh, above the 40 percent so in that case the simo code kit, kit will trip the motor and uh, it will uh, protect uh, from the damage then uh, still draw a rotor so when rotor will stuck or it, it can uh, fix and uh, in that case this uh, set current uh, will be will, will cross uh, the limit so you can define the level when it will cross uh, 600 times of the set current uh, and it will remain for 0 0.5 second so you can uh, trip the motor you can also change this uh, time i will change this time here if it, it will remain for uh, one second so it can trip so uh, now this motor production uh, fox first uh, features we have seen then we will go for thermistor if you are using thermistor uh, for uh, temperature measurement so uh, you, you will get two options response at trip level so what you want uh, when thermistor will uh, reach at critical level so signaling warning or tripping uh, you can select so when response level at uh, sensor fault is there so in case of sensor fault you can uh, go for the warning because sensor fault can be uh, possible uh, other physical uh, damages or it can be uh, possible for communication error also so for the sensor fault we will uh, select warning and uh, response at trip level so uh, in that case we will go for tripping, tripping because uh, this thermistor will uh, give uh, this uh, critical level only when motor will uh, heat up next motor control so uh, you will get here a control station and there are two uh, operating mode is available so right now we are using only one mode uh, so in that case uh, we will select only a uh, fixed level downside uh, operating mode if you have two uh, operating mode so based on uh, this two table uh, we need to uh, select uh, this uh, operating mode so there are uh, another operating mode local control uh, from the plc or dcs from the pc or operating panel so uh, right now i have selected uh, only local control so from the local control uh, if you have uh, any panel so from the boost button you can operate uh, the simo code kit and the uh, second option uh, we have this operating panel so from the operating panel you can uh, enable 
or you can uh, control the simo code kit if you are using plc or dcs so you can enable so right now i will uh, disable this option we need only uh, local control and operating panel control you can also uh, select any control mode uh, as per your application here uh, when you click so you will get uh, interconnection so what input you, which input you want to uh, configure so that detail uh, you can go for here so right now i will select input 3 input 2 and input 1 so you can see uh, these are the operation this is for uh, reverse on this input 2 is for off and input 1 is for forward uh, on motor same like uh, when you are using plc the cyclic or uh, cyclic bit you can use for uh, reverse on forward on or motor off same uh, from the operating panel uh, we have used button number 2 4 and 3 for uh, reverse on off and forward on next here we have uh, the control function so the feedback uh, time execution time interlocking time uh, that you can define types of uh, consumer load so you can select resistive or motor load here control command so when uh, motor uh, motor will on so what type of uh, control you want so it will release uh, control command when motor will uh, go for uh, reverse on when motor will off it will release the control command for off and when motor will on uh, forward and, and forward direction it will release command for on so from the release uh, control command you can go for the next controlling level that we will see uh, in next video next option uh, is monitoring function so here uh, you can monitor the current limit so when current uh, is upper limit or lower limit you can define so as per uh, stripping level so when uh, I will go for like when uh, this current will cross 60 percentage so in that case I want tripping and it, it will remain for uh, 0.5 second in that case we want tripping next when you want a warning level so definitely a warning is uh, before uh, the tripping so we will go for when uh, 50 percentage of uh, current will draw so in that case i will uh, need warning and uh, at the, uh, at the stage of 60 percentage uh, current we want tripping so in that case i, I mean, need warning only so this type of uh, current limit upper limit and lower limit you can set for both tripping level and warning level for the voltage you can uh, select lower limit and uh, here also we have option for warning level and trip level so i will select like when it will cross 350 voltage and trip level activity always on response at trip level i want tripping and delay you can go for one second as per your application next uh, for cos pi or power factor you can uh, configure the same option active power operating or monitoring so uh, here also you can uh, go for the operating hour so when it will cross uh, 10 hour level so in that case motor will give you the warning this kit will give you warning so you can monitoring uh, operating hour and uh, motor stop timing so for how much time the motor is uh, in uh, stop condition uh, the motor number of starts so how many times motor is started uh, from this time range as so you can uh, define the time range and uh, response at overshoot you can go for tripping or signaling or warning 
if you uh, want interlock time so uh, you can define this uh, time in hour minute and second so when it will uh, reach at critical uh, uh, permission start for example I will go for the three so when it, it will uh, it will trip for three times number of start start so in that case motor will not run you can also configure this earth fault here we have the input and from the output we have a digital output module so right now we have connected contactor with output 1 and contactor 2 with output 2 so uh, right now we will only uh, see a reversal application so for contactor uh, one is uh, used for uh, reverse the motor and contractor uh, contactor one uh, second number contactor will use for uh, for the motor like uh, likewise you can configure output output 3 uh, as per your application so there are number of options available indication uh, so if you want led indication or light indication you can uh, select any option if you want only status indication if you want trip so you can go for the trip option so likewise uh, thousands of options uh, we are getting from this simo code other digital module and cyclic send data cyclic send data test reset these are the options available in uh, simo code uh, that we will see uh, step by step in uh, every video so after configuring this device uh, we will click on this load all parameter to switching devices i will click on this button and right now i have connected a usb cable with the kit so i will click on this button first you need to select the com port on which com port you have connected this usb cable and then we will go for ok So after configure uh, this device you will get message download to device successfully accomplished and I will acknowledge that message. 